from the News Talk ZB Newsroom. This is News Fix. In this update, co-governance protests in Wellington have wrapped up with no problems reported by police. Around 45 police were on duty today for an estimated 300 pro-co-governance and anti-co-governance protesters marching from Civic Square to Parliament. Police say it was uneventful, with no clashes between the groups, and they expect no further disruptions. Labour has slammed National's plan to revoke the clean car discount. The National Party has promised to end the discount and the ute tax by the end of December, if elected, while installing more EV charging stations nationwide. National argues Labour's figures for the scheme are wrong and says it's cost taxpayers an additional $281 million. But Labour Party leader Chris Hipkin says National's plan is nonsensical. The National Party want to make it more expensive to buy electric vehicles, which makes their commitments around putting more electric charges around the country look somewhat farcical because they're going to make it harder for people to buy them in the first place. National has joined Labour in condemning all violence against members of Parliament across the board. Prime Minister Chris Hipkins has claimed it's the most racist and misogynistic election ever following attacks on two candidates this week. Earlier in the week, Labour MP Angela Roberts was slapped at a Meet the Candidates debate. Te Pāti Māori's Hana Maipi Clark's home was allegedly vandalised. National Party leader Chris Luxon says they have also referred some serious incidents to the police. I think it's important for all New Zealanders to understand that politicians are putting themselves forward. You may disagree with their politics, you may disagree with their policies, but we can disagree without being disagreeable. Fire crews are working through the weekend to dampen down a vegetation fire in Twizel. Cloudy skies and cooler temperatures have helped reduce the blaze at Pukaki Downs, which has been burning since last week. Fire and emergency say the area is still 2,900 hectares with a perimeter of 38 kilometres. Helicopter crews have identified several hotspots and ground teams are working through them. That's news. In sport, rugby's Ranfurly Shield has changed hands in the final defence of the season. Hawke's Bay has beaten Holders Wellington 2018 in Wellington. Hawke's Bay's captain, Tom Parsons, was still catching his breath before lifting the old log. Felt it out there, both sides went hammer and tong, and the Ranfurly Shield something special in New Zealand rugby, and it brings games like that out, that you've got to play for 80 minutes. Really proud of the boys digging deep there. Waikato beat Canterbury 37-35 to book the last NPC playoff spot. That game was the curtain raiser for the Black Ferns Wallaroos Laurie O'Reilly Cup Test, which is just underway at Waikato Stadium. The Silver Ferns play England tonight in their Tiny Jamison Trophy Series decider. That's also in Hamilton from 7 o'clock. That's sport. I'm Joe Gilfillan. For more news, listen to News Talk ZB live on iHeartRadio.